Hello all my DIY friends out there on the internet. Today we have a great video. This is a pretty quick and easy change here. You can see we have this old overflow plate here and it's about 40 years old and so you can see it's got all sorts of corrosion and pitting on it. So we're going to get rid of this and uh, we're going to be replacing it in the tub stopper down there. We have the kit that we bought here and so we're replacing it actually if you look here with a kit that only has one screw and I like these better because who wants to see two big old ugly screws there. Okay, so our strategy here is simple. This new overflow plate comes with a plate and a bracket and one single new screw, nice shiny screw. So what we do with this is we take the two screws out of that plate and then we reattach the two screws using this little plate here. So one screw goes on either side and once this plate is attached, you then run this single screw here through the plate here through that bracket. So now you're, you're down to only one screw being visible. So let's do that, it's real simple here. In fact, at the risk of insulting cavemen, it's so easy a caveman can do it. Okay, so there we go. The old plate is off, and you'll notice they never caulked along the top. They probably should have. Um, yeah, the gasket's still there. Gasket's in good shape. Okay, so now we're installing the bracket plate with the two screws that we just pulled off. I like that. See, nothing gets thrown out. You just reuse it, repurpose it in life. All right, so now that we have the bracket in place there, we're going to run the overflow plate. We'll get screwed right in there, see that? But make sure you have it aligned right. See, there's your breathing opening right there on the bottom there. See that weird cutout looking shape there? So that has to face downward, okay? Because the way the overflow works is when the water level gets up to this level here, it starts going in and getting sucked in. And they use the principle of air behind water, and so it has to breathe back out through this little air gap there, okay? Okay, so the plate is now on there nice and snug. And don't forget, we're going to come back later after we test, and we're gonna caulk all along the top here, leaving the open bottom there. Okay, so. Now you can see it's coming along here. Our shower is looking a lot better than it looked a little while ago because now we have all the matching brushed nickel components here, including that nice Delta Intuition shower head that I put in. I've been using this on all of my projects. I got them in my house too. They're, they're kind of nice and they look cool too. This would be a perfect time if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button down below. And once you hit that subscribe button, you'll see that little gray bell, click on that, and that will alert you to every time we put a new video so that you'll never miss a video. And also, if you like our video here, you can click on the thumbs up button down below. That lets us know that you like us. And any questions you have, please enter them in the comments down below too.